Hey everyone, so today we're going to do a quick galactic message for this week for you guys. I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to uh, use a different set of cards that I acquired. I actually bought this. I didn't steal them. <laughs> uh, just a few weeks ago, I've just been getting familiar with these constellations. So let's see what we get, energetically speaking, for this week what our galactic guides have to tell us, okay? Right, so we got for the energy from coming from Equalus uh, is courageousness. Don't mind those words. Uh, then we have generosity for the serpents constellation. And then we have Capricornus constellation is going to be self-sacrifice, okay? So let's see. So for this one in particular, for so courageousness... Equalus. Number 15, Equalus being the horse, um, coming from the Heavenly Waters family, I feel that this is about really going after your goals. It does have like a slight energy of the um, chariot energy, movement forward and not stopping for anything or anyone. If someone is moving towards creating a future with you then they will be as equally as motivated as you okay equally motivation or equal motivation i think sometimes we get stuck on the fear of not the unknown because we don't know who's going to be supportive of us if we choose a different route to take if we choose to go for our goals or actually actualize our dreams so this is kind of bringing me in so many ways that information coming from this constellation is, is leading you towards an understanding that even if you don't have a support structure around you or even if you don't know entirely who will be supportive of your life's choices for your future endeavors you still should have the courage to go after them anyway it is important for us to understand that sometimes people do fall away when we decide to go for something that we feel is going to make us happy and we are not completely and totally sacrificing our happiness for others anymore and just remember that those who fall away or those who falter or those who do not encourage you or those who begin to critique you regarding your life choices and this could be career relationships or other things those are just the people who are not meant to be in your life forever all right, and just have the courage to know the difference, okay? So that's what we have for this message from this particular constellation. All right, now this one coming from Serpents, the constellation of Serpents, um, generosity. So regarding time and energy, this is what I'm feeling. This is coming like kind of like an understanding of where your, your energy is going, where it's coming from, or where it's headed your time as well okay often we give a lot of ourselves to others um we are overly supportive of people's dreams needs and wants but we neglect to support ourselves we neglect to take our power back or our energy back and use that for our own needs and wants and happiness so what is serpents telling us uh this constellation's message is that you need to give that equal amount of generosity of your time and your energy towards your own goals towards your own aspirations towards your own future it doesn't mean that you need to take away from assisting others it just means you have to be aware that your success in so many ways can help other people succeed as well so it's kind of like to me this feels like the um 
the coin cards, you know, especially I would say the pentacles, right? The the ace of pentacles uh, is kind of like give and take. It's uh, you work hard for something, you spend, you know, that money the way that you feel is proper, but you cannot neglect yourself, okay? So it's definitely all about having balance in this and understanding that often you might feel like you need to assist other people before you assist yourself and you might feel that this is some type of um you know being selfless right but in so many ways it's, it's not necessarily being selfless it's more of like a hindrance to your own prosperity sometimes so sometimes you just have to be nitpicky on who you give that much generous energy to as well as returning that energy back to you okay so that's what we have for this message and this is our final message for this week is from capricornus self-sacrifice again we have a theme here um all three of these constellations have a theme regarding your time and your energy and also how you use that right for this one because it's under the influence of capricornus is about how we use our time and our energy and what are we uh trying to build here for ourselves and for the benefit of others of course um so to me i feel like this is about balance but it's also about future endeavors ideas uh surrounding anything that you want to build that's going to be a long term thing that's actually going to produce uh you know growth and wealth at the same time so if you have been hesitant you know regarding an idea that you wanted to implement or you wanted to begin such as maybe going back to school um, maybe learning something new, a new trade, um, learning about a new subject that you've been fascinated with and you understand that this is going to provide uh, abundance and prosperity for you, then this is your sign to just go for it and no longer sacrifice your happiness or your goals for others, okay? This is about understanding that what you're choosing today will echo through eternity, meaning that it will provide a, a seed, of, you're planting a seed that will provide growth for your future, it, I would even say long-term goal-wise that it will provide an income, okay? A, a income that you've been wanting to have, meaning if you're like kind of like wanting to be your own boss, uh, if you're wanting to make six figures or more a year, things like that, I feel this is exactly what this means is that it's time for you to just go for this goal. The only thing that you will definitely self-sacrifice is maybe a little bit of freedom at the beginning uh, because you're going to be motivated to complete whatever it is these goals are on time or it'll drive you to be busy put it that way okay you're gonna be very busy as coming from the influence of capricorn as a busy energy itself uh, busy building wealth here so yes you're gonna sacrifice some of your time in order for you to meet these goals that are going to eventually bring a lot of wealth and abundance towards you okay and your family of course so that's all i have you guys thank you so much for watching and i wish you a very happy full moon in pisces and yeah have fun Bye bye